Hi guys, it's Rob here with another Unity tutorial, and today we're going to be going over input and displaying input. So if you'll see up here, there's a few things to note. I have my main camera, I created a canvas, added an input field, and text. This text is automatically created with input field. So on the canvas, we would right click, we would go to UI, followed by input field, and then we'd do that again and we'd go to text. So these are what you're going to need. You're also going to need a main object which we're going to add a new JavaScript script that we're going to create called input student name. Okay? And if you'll see here, basically what I wanted to do was I would type in a person's name, for example, Rob. I would hit enter, and you would see in the console right here that we have Rob here. And now when I change this name, let's say Tom, and I hit enter, Rob, comma, Tom. So basically we're keeping a list of all employees or all students. Now I'm going to take you to the script and we're going to go step by step through how I was able to accomplish this. I made a variable employee name of type string, a variable input field of type unityengine.ui.input field, a variable display name of type unityengine.ui.text, and a variable here of type array, which I set equal to an empty array. Then in the function update, I set employee name equal to input field.text, Display name dot text equal to employee name, which so that's going to show us above our input field. That's going to automatically in real time show us what we're typing in. And then when we hit enter, now this is important. Get key down key code dot return. We're going to push our employee name onto the array, and we're going to then log uh, our array to the console. So now basically, let me show you the last step. We would have typed all that in. And then the last step would be to go to our main object, drag our input field to this right here, and drag our text to display name. Now when we hit play one more time, I'm going to show you. Let's say we hit Sam and enter. Now Sam is in RA. And now we're going to go, um, I don't know, Tom. I can't really think of any names right now, but Sam and then Tom. So basically we're keeping track of all the employees or all the students that we're typing into the input field. And that's our tutorial, guys. Thanks. I'll see you in the next tutorial.